Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We upload a brand new video almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. You can also find me outside of YouTube on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. Lots of times when sneakers come in, that's where I show them first. So if you want to get the... Uh, What's the what's the word I'm looking for here, buckets? Sneak peek. The sneak peek. The uh, the not not a jump start. A head start. A head start. A head start. If you want to get a head start? Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. That is where you can find me. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please do hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. It helps the channel grow, and we appreciate you for that. With that said, with the formalities out of the way. Buckets, anything to add or do I dive in? Dive in. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 5, what the? These are set to release November 7th and retail is $220. <laughs> Shouts to our friends over at Kixar for us for tossing us our pair a little bit early. Always appreciated because that allows us to then show you the sneaker early and you can decide exactly how you feel about them. And with retail prices being so high, with resale prices being even higher, it's nice to get a good look at a sneaker before it comes out, before it releases, and actually be able to make a decision. Are they worth that? Are they not worth that? So we're about to find out. I think this is gonna be a sneaker, my own personal opinion, that people are either gonna love or hate. I don't think there's gonna be much middle ground when it comes to these because it is such a bold colorway. It is such a loud sneaker. Now, at this point, most of you are probably familiar with the whole what the theme. We've seen it a lot at this point. Most recently, I think it was the Jordan 4 that they did, but they've done a lot of different Nike and Jordan silhouettes with that what the treatment over the years. The first and most iconic pair being that what the Nike SB Dunk Low. That's where it all started. And now here we are in 2020 with the what the Jordan 5. And for those not familiar, I guess I should add this. All the what the theme is, is combining a bunch of different colorways, in this case, Jordan 5 colorways, mixing it up, putting it in a crock pot, so to speak, letting it marinate and just cook and broil together. Too dramatic? Very dramatic. Very dramatic. Okay, so which colorways have they used? Which colorways have they incorporated? Well, the right pair is yellow, as you can see. Homage to the Tokyo 5. There's also the little Tokyo 5 embroidery. The tongue is from the olive colorway. I know it's orange, but it's the same tongue from that olive colorway. The interior or sock liner is from the Laser 5, and the midsole, outsole combo are from the Bel Air colorway. So four different Jordan 5 colorways incorporated into one. Moving over to the left shoe. 
there, you see that bright red kind of just popping off the sneaker. That is from the Raging Bull Jordan 5, one of my all-time favorite Jordans, period. And it's more of a true suede, a little bit longer haired, whereas the Tokyo side is a super duper short haired, very, very smooth suede. I'm talking like a baby seal basking in coconut oil. What, what What's softer than a baby seal in coconut oil buckets? Give me something. Nothing. Nothing, there it is. That's how smooth this is. You also have a little Shanghai detail on the heel. Green Bean 5 with the tongue. One of my favorite Jordan 5 colorways, by the way. More Bel Air on the sock liner. And I believe the midsole outsole. This was the only one that didn't jump out at me. I believe it is from the Kwai 54 Jordan 5, if you all remember those. And overall, I gotta be honest, I love these. I do. I know a lot of sneaker purists aren't gonna agree with me. I understand the whole mismatched thing. It's a little bit out there, and I know as an adult, I put that in air quotes, as an adult that I shouldn't necessarily be wearing or even liking mismatched sneakers. All that said, I dig them. I'm sorry, I do. It's not a pair of sneakers that will probably be in my regular rotation. I might not wear them as much as I would wear a sneaker like, I don't know, the black and red Jordan 1. Such a classic and a sneaker that you can wear every day. You can match it with anything. So these are not that, but I still think they're very dope. I love the execution. They used a lot of really classic colorways, a lot of really sought after colorways, and I think they put them together and just melded them all together in a really nice way. So those are my thoughts. I like them a lot. And here's a little hot take for your head tops. I actually think, and Buck, it's a hot take for your head top as well. I think this is one of the best what the executed sneakers out there. And there's been a lot of them. I think this is one of the best. Am I crazy? I don't know about crazy. I would disagree. Okay, okay. I'm hoping that they don't sell out in milliseconds and have these crazy resale prices, but you really never know these days. You kind of expect that almost. I know they're going to sell out. That kind of goes without saying, but I hope the resale prices stay at a reasonable level because I do think it's a really nice sneaker and I do think a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on them or their feet in them, I should say. Now, before we get out of here, you know we got to give it the official rating. How good are they? Scale of one to 10. We keep it simple. Simple, one to 10, nothing crazy. Ah, they're at least an eight for me and I, I almost want to bump on, you know what, man? F it, do it live. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say these are a nine out of 10. I love them. I like them. They're they're good. They're dope. Buckets. Be the voice of reason. And by reason, I mean be the voice of uh, gr grouchiness, maybe? No, not grouchiness. Scale of 1 to 10, where are we at? 6. 6 out of 10. Man, just because you're not, are you like, are you too grown up for the mismatch thing? Or? No, I don't really like, I don't mind if they're mismatched, but one's yellow, one's red. I'm, that's not really for me. Okay. A little too Ronald McDonald, huh? I don't know. Just a little too much something. All right. I love them. And I don't have a pair of Tokyo 5s. I don't have a pair of Raging Bull 5s. So, uh, you know, I I'm a happy camper. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on the Jordan 5 in general? How do you feel about the what the theme? Are you a fan of it like I am? Or do you think it's played out at this point? How do you think they did on this particular colorway with this particular sneaker? However you're feeling, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana, same time, same place right here that works out with a brand new sneaker for your head tops. Buckets, anything to add? No. Nope. No life advice, nothing? Nothing. Here's what I'm going to add. Don't grow up. It's a trap. There you go. I read that somewhere and uh, I think it's applicable. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.